Corey's a criminal. I didn't kill anybody. I never hurt anybody. She's a mass murderer. Hillary. <laughs> Hillary's a mass murderer. Hillary for prison. If you vote for a corrupt Hillary war for criminal, don't be surprised when you get corruption in war. We're gonna leave Hillary here in New York. Hillary for prison! Who wants Hillary to go to prison? That's where she belongs, bro. If you did what she did, you'd be in prison right now. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, we don't get no breaks. That's right. This makes more man right now. Yes. I'd that make would a be better. Better, president. better. You would make a better president. I'd make a better president. Absolutely. Hillary for prison. Hillary for prison. You the artist? He's the artist. He's the artist. Yeah. You see anybody I know? Anthony Frieda. <laughs> It's funny, I'm asking people if they want to talk on camera to talk about their country and who's going to be leading this country. And it seems like everybody's like, no, no, I don't want to talk about it. So you just said something I thought was pretty interesting. It's troubling that they're, they're unwilling to express their opinions now when they're able to, when in the future where they will not be able to. And they're going to wonder why. It's very disturbing, for sure. They don't mind taking a picture for their social media, but they don't want to talk about the, the real issues. Right. Right. Hillary for prison! Hillary for prison! No one talks about her past. Well, mostly we're, we're being lied to about the truth in so many different ways. These, these polls are rigged. The, the election's probably going to be rigged. But, and they're trying to demoralize Trump supporters. Divide and conquer. Yeah. So that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna vote. They can't stop me from voting. That's funny though. You do like that, yes, huh? I do like that. Cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. It was just America has had so many great presidents in the past, and. This year, I wonder why we have these two people. Is this the best choice of all the American people, all the moral people? It's just, I'm, I'm impressed. It's I'm, embarrassing, you think, to America? A bit, actually, a bit. Yeah. We as European countries, <laughs> we're not laughing at Americans, but it's just we're... We know it's a joke. <laughs> we know it's a joke. <laughs> we're laughing, too. I don't want to say it's a joke. We're crying while we're laughing. Though. Yeah. I know she's worked hundreds of millions of dollars and she lives, uh, her, her daughter lives right down the block at a $10 million townhouse. But they're always going to stay on the street tonight. Whatever happens to her, happens to her, you know. That's the way things go. We're leaving her at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. She's in the hands of New York City. So we're leaving her. Anthony, are you sure you're going to leave her? Hillary. I salute you. Godspeed. Bow. Bow to Hillary. Ba would you I bow to her? Bow to Hillary. Bow to her. It's not gonna happen to you. We're gonna leave Hillary here all night. We're gonna leave her here. You think she'll be safe? She'll be safe, right? Nobody will touch Hillary because Hillary's untouchable. Yeah, that's good. That was good. She does. It's horrible. That's great. We're going to leave Hillary here all night. What do you think? We don't think anything's going to happen to Hillary because she's untouchable. Aren't the choices horrible? We're going to leave Hillary here all night because nothing happens to Hillary. We're going to leave her. We're going to leave Hillary here because she can do no wrong and nobody's going to touch her. Trump is the man. I mean, I think the world's looking at us like we're a joke. I mean, on both sides, you know, I mean, I think you know, she's got experience, but experience in lying. I mean, so does Trump, he's a businessman. But I mean, what are you gonna do? You know, we're in a situation where you have to make a decision. And most people are like, don't vote libertarian because then it doesn't matter, but if most people- Like Jill that, Stein or somebody yeah. like that? But I mean, it's all going down the drain anyways, man. I mean, look at, look at where we're starting. It all starts from the top and we as citizens aren't coming together. This is no longer the United States, it's the divided states. Yeah, everything is about division. Everything. 
And you know what? We as citizens divide each other too instead of creating unity. I mean, there's a civil war upon us, man. You know, it's crazy. We're gonna leave Hillary Clinton here because she doesn't get touched, right? She's untouchable. Tell her what we think of her. Freedom of speech, man. Is it censored what we write? No. Yeah, whatever you want, man. Well, just don't forget, kids are going to be looking at it. This is what America's about, bro. I know, we got to move this, gotta move this, this way. Just a little bit. Yeah, but they didn't really say anything. They, didn't, they just called you? Hillary's people? Who wants to okay. ride on Hillary? I said that a lot of people are actually afraid to talk out and speak out. If you, if you live in fear, what do you have to live for? You know, what are you gonna live for if you live in fear? You're, you're scared. I mean, I'm, I flew in from Virginia yesterday and never have I ever thought to look at people or, or like just think of an exit strategy. What, what kind of world are we living in? It's, it's, World War Three is upon us, you know, and we're, we're so ignorant because we're, they have us so focused on this shit. But what's going on in Yemen? What's going on in, in, in 2007? It, you know, like in 2007 when we, our, our government is a bunch of fucking liars because we, we had the anti-missile crisis, right? That we wanted to, we're gonna put, put this in Romania and tell the Russians it's to protect us from Iran when we already signed an agreement saying we're stopping the arms race. So we're lying to them, and then Russia's like, okay, we're gonna do it too, because for this reason, which is also a lie. It's a, it's a perpetual war machine. That and, and it's like, we push one button, and the whole fucking world's gonna implode. Yeah. And it's not that easy, you know what I mean? I guess it is that simple, though, you know? It's fucking crazy. It's scary. Who's though. running the world? Our government. And we don't we don't even know that, like, how corrupt our government really is. Like, we, we're not, this isn't new. The United States government, this isn't new for them. We're just finding out about it now because of our social media outlets, because of things like this. So you gotta educate yourself, man. You gotta read on the right sites. And don't, don't make your decisions based on your parents or people that you're friends with or, or on, based on what you hear, because it's not what you heard, it's what you know. You know what I'm saying? So it's de depressing, man. It's, it's like, I got nine nieces and nephews and you look at them and you're like, what, what do you tell them? How do you bring them up in a society like this where people are just constantly hating each other? Like, you know, and I, I'm a believer in hate breeds hate, but. You, this is freedom of speech too, you know? Like trying to get the Trump, wind out. Look all the Trump the Trump uh, statues they put around. I'm sure people are walking past this like it's so ignorant. But they put a statue of Trump up and it's not ignorant. It's like it's double ed it, it's a double standard, man. Like come on. She deleted thirty thousand emails. Like yeah, he, he fucked some girls, like okay. Don't tell me that, you know. I'm a lesbian. I mean I've had plenty of locker room talks. I'm in a men dominated business. Like it's shitty what he said. Don't act like she Guys probably like to, yeah. yeah yeah no a lot of men don't do that they're not like that but he he's a billion he was a billionaire a young billionaire you know they probably they probably did that to mic him so they could bring it up now because they knew they were, this was gonna happen you know it's a conspiracy or is it reality it's fucking reality man all right thanks She's the lesser of two evils. <laughs> That's what... Benghazi. Gotta love it. We're gonna leave Hillary Clinton here all night because Hillary Clinton's untouchable.
Who wants to ride about Hillary? You want to ride about Hillary? Yeah, Do it. Whatever you want to ride. <laughs> Who wants to write about Hillary? Whatever you want to write. Freedom of speech is still here. This is for a couple of weeks. So whatever you want to write about Hillary, get it down now. We're going to leave Hillary here. We believe in freedom of speech. Pens are available in New York City. Anybody wants to write what they think about Hillary, Her Highness, Her Worshipfulness, you are welcome to write it here for posterity. Pens are available. Freedom of speech, use it while you still got it. She's gonna stay here all night. Because she's untouchable. Nobody's she's gonna untouchable, touch her. But you can touch her with a pen.